Hey my friend, it's Duke. In this episode, we will learn about Java input, how you can take the input of an user, typing in in the console, and go print them out. So let's go into the demo and let's get started. Okay, I assume that you already installed the Java SDK, and also you have a text editor, something like this, I use Adam. So you can just go to adam.io and download this free tool, this free uh, text editor, okay? Now let's create a new file and we'll save this out maybe onto the documents or desktop and we'll call this something like user input demo and we'll save it. Oops, gosh, I need to save it as user input demo dot Java and we'll add the extension like this, okay, good. Now, let's import this thing we call java.io.console so that we have on the library, on the code that connected to the console because we are building a console application, right? The next thing is we want to have a public class with the class way is that we'll talk about that as we move on in a later episode, okay? So we'll call it introduction, introduction, I'm sorry, we call it user input demo notice that the name of this class has to be the same as the name of the file next up they have public static void main and then it has an argument which is strength like this and arcs all right now this thing we haven't talked about this later on will turn out to be a function so we'll talk about that in a few episodes in the future just bear in mind that you don't have to worry about that right now, right? We just worry about what is, how we can take user input from the console. Next up, let's have a console object, which is console, console equals system dot console like this. Okay, so if you already follow um, along with me in the last episode of this Java, then we haven't talked about what is an object, what is this thing over here, what I just make you do is just retype some of the code that if you download the starter project from the last episode, you see this thing, right? Don't worry about that right now. I, I, I said this thing like the third time in this video, but what I want to do in this video is we learn by user input and also we want to learn, we just get to program in Java, the more code that we write, the more familiar we feel with programming, okay? And these more advanced stuff, we'll talk about that in the more, in the later episodes. So, um, let's let's save this one and I'll open terminal here. Okay, I'll open terminal on my Mac or you can use something like PuTTY on Windows or something. And then I will CD to desktop and use the ls command to see that we have an user input demo.java here. So I will clear it and then we'll do Java C, which is Java compiler dot um, user input. I would just have to put an user in like this and then hit the tab key and it'll recognize that there's a file like this. Press enter and then we have Java user input demo and we have nothing. It means that our code is correct. Next up, let's learn how we can receive the user input using the string uh, using the read line comment. So I have a string here called first name and that we use console.readLine. Remember that you have to use dot read line and the line here, the L is capitalized, okay? And then we have open and close parentheses, a semicolon, inside here is a string and this is the, the, the prompt that will print out the console. I will ask, what is your first name? Like this space and then another space two space okay so we have a space there and then we have string last name equals to i hope that you can see it console dot read line and then we have what is your last name space another space sem, uh, semicolon okay and then how about we do string occupation equals console dot read line and then what do you do? All right, so that is first name, last name, occupation. So let's run it. Java C again, we have to compile it. And then Java. What I just did is I hit the arrow key so that you can see that it will repeat the last statement that we have on the console. 
There we go. It has got squares. Your first name, so we're putting Duke. Uh, your last name, Tran. What you do? Build apps like this, and we have escaped the app because we didn't do anything with these. But actually, what it does is it saves the value of those things in these string variables. So it means that we can use those. So how about we count console dot printf? And we'll print multiple new line here. What just did is using the escape key and then and it doesn't print out this string. But what it does is each of these escape key and then end here is a new line. Okay, some some like it's the the same thing as you press multiple enter like this. Okay. So next let's print out console.printf. Hello, my name is and then I will use ampersand s right a format of a string and ampersand s again so we can have the first name and then the last name and then we have comma first name comma last name like this okay so let's run the app once again save it and then compile it oops i got something wrong over here we have first name symbol variable first name location okay cannot find symbol so maybe we have typing wrong yeah, it is first name, not fist name. <laughs> okay, Java C, Java. What's your first name, Duke? Last name, Tran. Build apps. There we go, it has, hello, my name is Duke Tran. Okay, so I have another comma and space here. Next up, let's, how about, I have a little code challenge for you here. I want to ask you to print out a new line called something like I do something for a living nice to meet you so you will need to use the occupation of that so if i do build apps then we have i build apps for a living nice to meet you something like this right but don't don't be put in the build app string right there because the occupation it is what the user enters okay so i hope that you will do the code challenge all right guys that is how you use user input in java i hope that you enjoyed this episode we just learned about how you can take user input from a console how you can print them out if storing them in a variable print them out in a print format statement how you can put multiple strings in a print format those things you use that a lot not only in your android app but also in debugging everything like that so i hope that you enjoyed this episode could you do me two favors Number one, you can just subscribe to this channel right here so that I can continue to develop to you free Android trainings, free Java development training for you every single week right here on this channel. Number two, what I want to do for you is I have a Java Android, how to build an Android app webinar in which you are you and i are going to online and i will show you how to be an android app from scratch without any prior programming experience just like this if you start here you will love that webinar you will have a complete android app ready for you so what you can do is click the link right on this page click the link in the description right down below go to the registration page enter your name and email and select the dates that you want to meet me on the webinar there you can interact with me i can answer your questions we can see each other and i can show you how to build an android app from scratch without any prior programming experience until then i see you on the webinar click the link on this page and go out there every single day of your life learn new things craft your ideas and contribute to the world.